This is AutoLine Daily reporting on the global automotive industry. Another person has been charged in the SCA UAW scandal. Yesterday, prosecutors in Detroit filed charges against Norwood Jewell, alleging he spent union funds on himself and other UAW officials. Jewell was the head of the union's SCA department from 2014 to 2018 and is the highest ranking UAW official to be charged. So far, seven people have been sentenced in the ongoing corruption investigation. FCA says the company isn't at fault and that it's, quote, a victim of conduct by certain rogue individuals. Ford is riding the wave of success from its big SUVs and will once again increase production of the Expedition and Navigator. Last year, sales of the big Lincoln were up a whopping 70 percent, while the Ford was up 35 percent. But this move is all about generating profits. And between 2017 and 2018, the average transaction price for the expedition shot up close to 12 grand. That should tell you all you need to know. The 20% increase in production will also create 550 new jobs at Ford's Kentucky plant. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most clever. Check out this cap Skoda design for the windshield washer fluid reservoir, which when opened, turns into a little funnel. It will first be available on the new Scala, and if you don't think this is a clever idea, then you've likely never poured an ounce of washer fluid in your life. The Securities and Exchange Commission is stepping up its battle with Elon Musk. The regulator told a judge that Tesla's CEO hasn't sought approval for a single tweet he's made since his court settlement that required him to get pre-approval from Tesla about any information he wants to disclose about the company. Last month, Musk tweeted that Tesla would build around half a million vehicles this year, which the SEC alleges was in violation of the agreement. Musk says he was in compliance with the deal and that the SEC is infringing on his free speech. Reuters spoke to legal experts who say the SEC could pursue fining Musk, impose more restrictions on his activities, or seek to remove him from Tesla's board. And Tesla continues to hone the Model 3 lineup. It's no longer going to offer the mid-range version of the 3, which could go 264 miles on a single charge. Tesla started offering the mid-range battery in October last year as a way to lower the price for those that wanted to get in on the tax rebate but didn't want a long-range version. The Model 3 will now come with 220, 240, and 310 mile ranges. And in other Tesla news, here's your latest teaser for the upcoming pickup truck. And we've got a teaser for the new Karma Rivero as well. The company says it will be faster, smarter, and even more stunning in design. The new Rivero comes out in the middle of the year. And the man who originally designed that car, Henrik Fisker, is showing off his latest creation, an electric SUV that's set to be launched in the second half of 2021. It has a target range of roughly 300 miles, which will require an 80-plus kilowatt-hour battery pack, and its base price will be below $40,000. This is said to be the first of three affordable EVs from the company. The SUV will be made in the U.S., but Fisker hasn't selected a facility yet. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Another luxury brand known for its sedans is planning on introducing an SUV. Automotive News reports Mercedes will build an upcoming Maybach SUV exclusively at its plant in Alabama. It will share a platform with the Mercedes GLS and is expected to carry a price tag of $200,000, which would make it the most expensive passenger vehicle built in the U.S. The SUV will be powered by a V8 with over 560 horsepower. 
It's expected to debut in China this year and go on sale in early 2021. And as we've reported, consumers around the world are ditching sedans in favor of SUVs and pickups. So it kind of makes sense for Maybach to jump into that market. You know, we here at AutoLine Daily love providing you with our insight into the latest news in the automotive industry. But now it's time for you to share your opinion. We want to know your thoughts on the new EV startup, Rivian. Does the company have what it takes to survive long term? Or will it just be a flash in the pan? If you want to leave a comment, give us a call at 1-620-288-6546 to leave your message along with your name and where you're from. And we'll share those in a future show. We want to know anything you have to say, and we can't wait to hear what you've got. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.